All right, here's your part two for chapter 35. So remember, we were talking about WPSs, right, and PQRs, our welding procedure specifications and our procedure qualification uh, records, okay? Both of these have certain things, essential variables, non-essential variables, and supplementary essential variables, okay? What's a variable? A variable is something that can change, okay? An essential variable affects the mechanical properties of our weld, okay? If we change these, usually our WPS and our PQR have to be pre-qualified. That means I gotta go back to my test kitchen and I have to break it again, okay? Now, what are some of the things that would be an essential variable? Definitely my joint design, my welding process, any base metal, even to a certain effect, thickness of material, filler metal, polarity, shielding gas. If I go from CO2 to argon, that can be a big change. And the type of bead, whether I'm doing a stringer versus a weave because it can change the heat input, okay? Now, what would be non-essential? Well, this doesn't affect the properties of my weld, but if I change it, I might need to requalify it, okay? Not always, but sometimes, okay? So this also is included to help the welder. This may be things like PSI for your gas, how I should manipulate it, inner pass cleaning and travel speed, some things like that, that that aren't really required, but it would be nice to have, okay? Now, supplementary essential variables. This one's kind of tricky. This affects our impact properties, like toughness, like sharp EV notch and requirements like that. They can be required by a code or standard, okay? So some codes or standards require a specific uh, sharp EV notch property of the base metal or for the filler metal. Otherwise, if it's not required and we put it in there, then it's just considered a non-essential variable, something that helps us out, okay? We also have to remember, guys, when we get something out of the cookbook, whether it's under a joint design or a specific process or a filler metal, they allow different uh, variables to that, but if it doesn't fall within there, we have to requalify it. So maybe I had a recipe out of the cookbook, but you know what? I said, you know what? I really don't like dates in my fruitcake. Well, I took the dates out of my fruitcake and put something else in. But when I put those cherries in my fruitcake, guess what? It changed it. Now it's no longer a recipe I took out of my cookbook and I have to qualify it and put it into the uh, test kitchen, okay? I hope this helps, guys. Give me a little bit of feedback on this and tell me how you like it. Toodles!